Okay, let's begin this math lesson. We're focusing on zero, okay? And um, zero is a hero, and it actually, zero can make our math very easy, and we're gonna look at that today. Okay, so we're on page 51A. At the bottom, it's 179. So if you could open your booklet to that page. All right, let's begin at the top. So we're subtracting. Most of this page is subtracting, then down here, notice that you're switching to addition. Those are plus signs, these are all minus signs. So it says subtracting zero, differences of zero, and then we're reviewing down here. Okay, so if you have four, this one says four minus four equals. So if you have four and you take away all four, then you have zero, right? Two minus zero, if you have two and you take away nothing, you still have two. 1 minus 0 is 1. So 0 makes is, is kind of magic here because the number that's with it won't change. 3 minus 3, if you have 3, you take away 3, you have 0. 6 minus 0, if you have 6 and you take away nothing, you still have 6. 6 minus 6, if you have 6 and you take away all 6, then you have 0. 7 minus 0, so you have 7, and then you take away nothing, so you still have 7. 5 minus 5, if you have 5 and you take away all 5, then you have 0. 3 minus 0, so if you have 3 and you take away nothing, you still have 3. 9 minus 9, so if you have 9 and you take away all 9, then you wind up with 0, okay? Do you see how easy this is? Okay, working with zero is very friendly. Okay, now down here, we're reviewing taking away one. Okay, so I, we can do that with our fingers. So if you, the first problem is three minus one. So if three fingers take away one, then you have two left. So we write that two. 10 minus one. So if you have 10 and you take away one, then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have nine left. Okay. 6 minus 1, so you have 6, and you take away 1, and you wind up with 5. Okay, right here, 2 minus 1, so you have 2, take, one, take away 1, and you have 1. 9 minus 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, take away 1, and you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's go down to the bottom row, okay? So eight plus eight, okay? So um, if I don't have my number line, how am I going to solve that, okay? So I could do this, create an array of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So two sets of eight dots is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then I write my 16 here, a 1 and a 6. Okay, so that's another way to do it if you don't have your number line handy. Okay, 1 plus 6 we can do on our fingers. There's, there's um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Pop out one more, and you have seven. Eight plus zero, so if you have eight and you don't add anything else, you still have eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, plus one, two, three, four, five, so five plus five is 10. And then the last one, two plus one, so if you have two here and one here, put those together, and you have three all together. Okay, so go ahead um, and give yourself an exit ticket. And you're gonna put this away in your math folder. All right, and you're ready for your next lesson.